In today's video, we will be looking at one of the world's most powerful families, in which it claims three billionaires, the Walton family, owners of the largest retailer in the United States, Walmart. Stay tuned, because you will never know their secret information. The Waltons are the wealthiest family in the United States, with a combined wealth of $150 billion. They are also the largest private landowners in America. Samuel Moore Walton was born in Kingfisher, Oklahoma in 1918 and grew up in Columbia, Missouri. Growing up during the Great Depression, he did chores to help make ends meet for his family as was common at the time. While attending 8th grade, Sam became the youngest Eagle Scout in the state's history. He attended the University of Missouri as an ROTC cadet and graduated in 1940 with a bachelor's degree in economics. He joined J.C. Penney as a management trainee three days after graduating from college. During this time, he worked various odd jobs, including waiting tables in exchange for meals. In 1942, he was drafted into the U.S. Army Intelligence Corps to serve in World War II. While in the Army, he realized he wanted to become a businessman. In 1945, he opened his own store that sold clothing for people with limited income in Bentonville, Arkansas, and it was called Ben Franklin Store. Walton originally opened the first Walmart store as Walton's Five and Dime in Rogers, Arkansas, at the age of 26. He made sure the cells were consistently stocked with a wide range of goods. He pioneered many concepts that became crucial to his success. According to Walton, if he offered prices as good or better than stores in cities that were four hours away by car, people would shop at home. He later changed the store name to Walton's 5 and 10 and finally to Walton's. Walmart had a debt in 1983 that was around 2.6 billion US dollars. To solve this problem, the company decided to sell off some of its assets and focus on lowering costs. Walmart also bought back its own stock to help its shareholders. By 1988, Walmart had paid off all its debt and was saving $1 billion a year in interest payments. By 1990, Walmart was the largest US retailer by revenue. Sam Walton died in April 5, 1992, of multiple myeloma. He left his ownership in Walmart to his wife and their children. His death was relayed by satellite to all 1960 Walmart stores. Annual sales of nearly 50 billion US dollars flowed from 1,735 Walmarts, 212 Sam's Clubs and 13 Supercenters. As Walmart expanded, many worried about its effect on local communities, particularly small towns with many mum and pop stores. There have been several studies on the economic impact of Walmart on small towns and local businesses, jobs and taxpayers. One study found that shop owners who adapt to changes in the retail market can thrive after Walmart arrives. In the US alone, Walmart has close to 5,000 retail locations under several different banners, including Walmart and Sam's Club. Walmart stores can be found in all 50 states as of 2022. The company is redefining retail by focusing on three key pillars, e-commerce, grocery and new formats. Walmart has invested heavily in online shopping. In 2016, Walmart acquired Jet.com, for $3 billion to help it compete with Amazon.com and other online retailers. The company has been expanding its grocery business through a series of acquisitions and partnerships with companies like Lyft to develop delivery services for groceries and other items. Walmart has also been investing heavily in new formats such as pop-up stores and smaller grocery stores that are tailored to urban areas where real estate is expensive. Walmart is primarily owned by its founding family, the Waltons. 
through their holding company Walton Enterprises as well as through their individual holdings of family members, the Walton family owns over 50% of the Walmart Corporation. The three most prominent living members, Jim Walton, Rob Walton and Alice Walton, have consistently been in the top 20 of the Forbes list till 2001. And they are still within the top 50 list. The current Walton family fortune is broken down as such. Jim Walton, net worth of 66.9 billion US dollars. Alice Walton, with a net worth of roughly 66 billion US dollars. And finally, S. Robson Walton, with a net worth of roughly 65.7 billion US dollars. Walmart has grown steadily since its first store opened in 1962 to become the world's largest retailer. Today, Walmart stores can be found across the globe, from China to Mexico to Canada. And there may be AI-powered stores in the near future. And this asset will continue within the Walton family for another thousand years, keeping them the America's wealthiest family. And that's a wrap for today's episode. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up, share and subscribe to our channel to see our latest content. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon.